Hello everyone and welcome to the Kibble and Bits Review. Do you want to provide your dog the greatest diet possible to meet its dietary requirements? Are you specifically considering kibble and bits and wondering if it is the best option? You're in the correct place. Here is everything you need to know and take into account regarding this specific brand and its selection of goods. Are kibble and bits safe for dogs then? Dogs can be fed kibble and bits to satisfy their basic nutritional needs, however the component list does not support the majority of dogs' optimum health. The fact that kibble and bits contains maize, unidentified animal ingredients, and artificial colors keeps it from being a top pick for dog food. Although it is often inexpensive and easily accessible, you could argue that there are better solutions available. I personally wouldn't look anywhere else if you need a quick recommendation other than this particular cuisine line. For dogs of all ages, breeds, and sizes, it's fantastic. The entire ordering process is easy and uncomplicated, and it is centered on superior, fresh, non-allergenic whole foods. In fact, you can alter the formula to suit the requirements of your particular dog. However, let's focus on the kibble and bits items especially to understand why they fall short in terms of the best possible food. Is kibble and bits a good dog food? Kibble and Bits is not thought to be the best dog food option in terms of nutrients for your pet. Due to its low price, it is frequently seen on the shelves of big box stores and frequently attracts owners' attention. However, the ingredients are not thought to be the healthiest for dogs. Real meat is the finest source of protein for dogs, but kibble and bits is a corn-based dog food, which can be difficult for many dogs to digest. It also contains additional food coloring, a lot of grains, and less healthful fat and protein than many other higher quality foods. To be sold in stores without risk, all dog diets must adhere to a set of nutritional standards. To achieve those standards, Brands may differ significantly in how they combine ingredients and prepare their meals. In order to cook and create its kibble, kibble and bits uses heat extrusion, which degrades some ingredients' nutritious content. A person on a tight budget can feed their dog and provide for their basic nutritional needs by using kibble and bits. For those who feed it, the availability of kibble and bits at most major supermarkets offers another level of ease. Putting convenience aside, kibble and bits would require a complete ingredient makeover to qualify as a premium or even truly good dog food. What is kibble and bits made of? Corn is the main component in kibble and bits. Because it is very affordable and simple to work with, corn is frequently included as a key component in dog diets under the economy brand. Corn. The primary functions of corn in dog diets are as a filler, a source of nutrients and energy, and to bulk out the dog food. Dog diets with corn as their primary ingredient frequently perform worse than dog foods with a primary protein source derived from meat. The fact that corn has been found to be difficult on dogs' digestive systems is a significant issue. It can result in upset tummies and other undesirable symptoms when a dog's stomach and intestines have to work hard to break down a food's primary constituent. Soybean meal Soybean meal is the second component of kibble and bits. If meat isn't the first ingredient in a dog food, it should preferably be the second. Soybean meal is listed second in kibble and bits, and while it does supply protein, its nutritional value is not as high as that of protein from meat. Meat Kibble and bits meat is primarily made of beef and bone meal. This meat protein is produced from a variety of unidentified animal parts, frequently what is left over after all the portions that are edible to humans have been consumed. Even the blood, horns, hooves, or hair from a meat animal may be included in this. Although beef and bone meal has a high protein content, which offers it some value in dry dog diets, it also contains a lot of ash and is therefore not a preferred ingredient for high-quality nutrition in dog food. Additives Artificial colors including red dye 40, caramel coloring, and animal fat BHA preserved are also included in kibble and bits. The appearance and structure of the dog food are improved by each of these additives, but there are a number of known and theorized unfavorable side effects for dogs. The components in kibble and bits are unlikely to hurt your dog right away in the near term. Some dogs may have stomach discomfort or allergic symptoms from the maize and soy, but additional adverse effects might not be apparent until the dog is fed this meal repeatedly over an extended period of time. Together, the ingredients produce a product that satisfies the basic nutrition 
nutritional requirements of dogs but falls short of rival brands higher quality ingredients. Is kibble and bits harmful for dogs? Dogs are not instantly harmed by kibble and bits. It satisfies the minimum requirements to be stocked on store shelves as a complete dog meal. In light of this, some of the components may make sensitive digestive dogs feel sick, and over time, this meal may impede dogs from reaching their nutritional potential. One component of kibble and bits, corn as a key ingredient, may cause certain dogs to feel sick. The digestive system of a dog struggles to break down maize and transform it into usable energy. This can wear down a dog's stomach and intestines over time. Some dogs are allergic to corn and may exhibit these symptoms after consuming corn-based foods. Sudden or persistent itching, paws that are red or swollen, vomiting, or diarrhea are all warning signs. Call your veterinarian if you observe these things and make sure they are aware of the diet your dog is eating. Kibble and Bits does not specifically state where its animal meat ingredients are sourced, as is common with many factory-made dog foods. This can provide a challenge for dogs who have dietary allergies. Many dogs will consume these animal products without any problems, although eating higher quality meats could increase their protein intake. Kibble and Bits will work for dog owners who are on a low budget and want to feed their dog a food that will help keep their dog full and meet their basic needs. Owners have other choices to think about if they want the most wholesome and secure diet for long-term feeding. Can dogs eat kibble and bits every day? Dogs should be fed kibble and bits on a daily basis by their owners. Depending on your dog's age, weight, overall body size, small, medium, or large, and degree of exercise, you should adjust the size and quantity of servings. A feeding table recommendation should be printed on the outside of each bag of kibble and bits. Generally speaking, it is preferable to give your dog two to three meals during the day. Giving your dog a heavy meal all at once can worsen stomach issues. It is better to feed kibble and bits the same food at each meal if you are feeding them. An upset stomach in a dog might result from frequent and abrupt changes in the food it eats. If you've made the decision to switch from kibble and bits to another food, make the transition gradually over time, introducing more and more of your new food as you provide less kibble and bits. Alternatives to kibble and bits Instead of kibble and bits, there are a lot of other dog food manufacturers you might wish to take into account. Sundays for Dogs is one product in particular that employs authentic, healthy ingredients and is air-dried rather than heat extruded. When a veterinarian started working with her engineer husband to entirely develop the greatest food possible rather than merely buy it, it was because she was looking for the healthiest diet for her own lovable dog. Although she was aware that many individuals produced their own wet dog food, she also understood that a convenient dry kibble option was required. Sundays for dogs would be created from that cuisine. There are no synthetic colors, caramel coloring, or unidentified meat sources in Sundays for dogs ingredient list. Sundays for dogs offers USDA certified beef, beef liver, and beef bone that are of a high enough caliber for a person to consume without risk. Because it doesn't contain maize or other complex grains, it is easy on dogs' stomachs. Instead, to gently provide dogs with the nutrition they require, a variety of whole fruits and vegetables that are high in nutrients and easy on dogs' stomachs are meticulously baked and air-dried. Sundays for Dogs is a fantastic option for dogs with sensitive stomachs or allergies because of its simplicity. There is some versatility in making sure your dog chooses a flavor they appreciate because there are two recipes available, chicken and beef. Those with limited funds may note that Sundays for Dogs costs more than kibble and bits. But when you stop to think about it, the extra expense is worthwhile if it prevents you from later incurring high medical costs, which are frequent in dogs who are fed a subpar diet over an extended period of time. Not to mention that when they are around you, your dog will be happier, more active, and more vibrant. Even so, with just the cost of one daily beverage stop, your dog can enjoy a diet of considerably greater quality. The assurance that comes with high-quality food, according to those who have selected Sundays for dogs, is worth the price difference. You can save money by subscribing to a service that will routinely deliver you new boxes of Sundays for dogs. It's simple to determine how much food to give your dog and what size box to use, which will help to avoid waste and under slash overnutrition. Finally, it can take a lot of time and effort to decide which food is best for your dog. With so many choices, it's simple to become perplexed on what to purchase. 
In most circumstances, kibble and bits isn't a fantastic long-term diet choice, but it can be what you need to get by in a hurry. Just keep in mind that by feeding your dog foods with premium ingredients and adequate nourishment, you'll be giving them the best possible chance for improved health, fewer medical difficulties, and thus lower expenditures, and hopefully a longer lifespan. That's the Kibble and Bits review. Hopefully this has helped with your decision when looking for the best pet food. Make sure to check the description below for more information. See you next time.